Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. We would like to share with you a message of St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria. A Third Order Augustinian, Luz is an Argentinian mother of eight children who bears the stigmata. She began receiving heavenly visitations from her guardian angel and Our Lady as a little girl in her native Costa Rica. Along with her prayer cenacles, Luz publishes Heaven's Messages under the guidance of her longtime confessor, two other priests, and a nun, and her book of messages was granted the imprimatur of the Church in 2017. A message of St. Michael to Luz de Maria de Bonilla on June 23, 2022. Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, receive from the Sacred Hearts blessing and fortitude for those who wish to accept them. A great part of humanity remains inert in the light of the calls of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. These calls will regain value in human memory when the events which have been enumerated unfold one after the other in front of humanity. Humanity's disobedience is the weapon of the devil with which he succeeds in making man rise up against the Most Holy Trinity. In these times, disobedience will be almost total. Man does not wish to be subject to anything and proclaims his free will, leading him to sink into his vanity, pride, and liberalism. I have to tell you that whoever does not change their works and actions in the direction of fraternity will fall prey to darkness. Pride, selfishness, arrogance, and superiority are small tentacles with which the devil is causing excessive damage, and I, as Prince of the Armies of Heaven, will not allow the people of my King and Lord Jesus Christ to be undermined. The Holy Spirit pours out His gifts and virtues, 1 Corinthians 12, 11, on the humble, so that they would preach the word, not on the proud, so that they would exalt their free will. People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the day of prayer that I requested of you has reached the paternal throne like precious incense. I must share with you that each day of prayer has been completely pleasing to God and has succeeded in attenuating to some extent the great earthquake that humanity is going to suffer. Without wishing to upset you, I must tell you that the coming events will occur one after another without respite. Earthquakes will be of greater intensity, causing the earth to lose its compact state and high mountains to collapse. People of our Lord and King Jesus Christ, the country represented by the bear will react unexpectedly, causing the world to remain anxious and making some countries react hastily. When you hear an unknown rumbling, do not leave your homes or places where you are. Do not leave until you receive orders to move. If a strong and unknown glow appears, do not look at it. On the contrary, keep your head to the ground and do not look until the glow disappears and do not move from the place where you are. Store food inside your homes without forgetting water, blessed grapes, the sacramentals and what is necessary for the small altar that at a certain moment you were asked to prepare in your homes. Attention, beloved people of God, attention. Remain attentive to the persistence of evil that wants to make you fall. Do not succumb. I defend you with my sword. Do not fear. St. Michael the Archangel Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary of Luz de Maria Brothers and sisters, St. Michael the Archangel warns us how to act at crucial moments which we as part of humanity have not experienced before, meaning that we cannot know or recognize them. Let us take these warnings of St. Michael very much into account for our good. 
It is when humanity feels that it has a slight respite that it will be about to face what has been announced. Brothers and sisters, given the need to have a place of prayer in our homes, let us remember that heaven has told to have a small altar in the house where we can bend our knees to plead for divine mercy. The useful servant does what his master commands him to do immediately. The unprofitable servant says, I will wait. That waiting makes all the difference. Amen. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.